Good morning guys, we are in a brand new city. We are in Beirut in Lebanon. Good morning guys, today we're gonna show you around Lebanon. Yep. I know Lebanon hasn't got amazing views from the media, but today we're gonna show you the true Lebanon. Yep, we're gonna show you just what we think of Lebanon, give you our opinion, not the media opinion. Here we go. Let's go. Okay guys, good morning. We are in Beirut in Lebanon. We arrived late last night. We've woken up this morning, we've had a shower. We're nice and clean now. We've just found ourselves a little place that's gonna make us a couple of coffees to start the day. Yeah, this is the coffee. I'm actually hungry for it already. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Uh, yeah. But so I just asked how much the coffees are, and the coffees are 10,000 Lebanese pound, which is what well, I think in New Zealand dollars that equates to about 50 cents. We've only got small change from our like late snack last night, so we paid in US dollars and got some change in Lebanese pound. But this is the most important thing about being in Lebanon is that you can't withdraw money anywhere. That's right. What's the trick behind that? What do they do? So instead, you need to find somewhere. We're actually really we're staying really close to the main street where you can exchange money, which is called Hamra Street. So we're going to go up there afterwards and show you. You need to carry everything in US dollars cash, exchange it into Lebanese pound. But we're starting with what we've got left. We're going to invest in a coffee. Okay, that's twenty thousand. So that's for the coffees. I think. I think that's about. Um, well, it's one New Zealand dollar. I guess it must be about fifty cents US. Right. But I'm going to double check that at the exchange rate. But the exchange rate changes all day, and every day it's changing. So we already heard it was different from last night. I think this morning it was thirty-nine thousand five hundred. We'll go check it out. Oh man. Makes me feel like I'll a tell you what, I know. <laughs> Getting your head around currencies, change like traveling through different countries as fast as we do, it can be a real mind at at times. But you eventually get your head around it and you sort it out. So that's what we're trying to do at the moment. Just trying to get our heads around it. Okay. Coffee. Ready. Coffee time is set. We're ready. Let's go to Hamra Street and go figure it out. Okay, what do you want guys? Chocolate croissants. We've actually been like two meters from the shop where we got our coffee. But these guys have spotted croissants. Come on then. So we didn't realize that Beirut is kind of another name for Beirut. is like the Paris of the Middle East. So it actually has a huge French influence. We checked in last night speaking French instead of English. Yes, actually a lot of the road signs on the way here yeah. are all in French, weren't they? They're all in French. So it's definitely testing my French. But let's go and get some croissants for the kids. Okay. Croissant. Everything's going so good. Okay. Happy? Wow, everyone is super friendly already. Um, so nice. The lady in there, the chocolate croissant costs 19000 So I guess that's about, yeah, maybe 50 cents. Or... The lady in there was really, really nice and telling me to, I thought she said 90 and she said, no, 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 that's very expensive. Make sure you take care of your money so everyone's really we've had really friendly people so far everyone's saying welcome to Lebanon yeah okay and this is Hamra Street so this is sort of a oh I understand it kind of is like a bit of a commercial hub but also like the university district so all the money exchanges are here all money's exchange officially I suppose it is on the black market so we'll go and show you but there's actually so even the official looking even shops, the official yeah. looking shops they're changing it at the black market rate I'll have to look out what the actual rate originally was. But at can, the you moment, tell, can you tell us, like, so we've read there's something about getting money out in a money machine. What? Okay, so if you get money out of the money machine, say you were to withdraw the equivalent of 10 US dollars, you'll actually pay 100 US dollars. It has a 90%. So, so it'll cost you $100 to withdraw $10? Yeah. 
So it has a 90% markup on that. But so right now they're still stuck at the old exchange rate from pre crisis. See, everyone's really nice. Hello. Hello. Um, Welcome to Lebanon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, we'll go and see the exchange us. Cool. Come on in. Welcome to Lebanon! Well, so we just met a really cool young group of guys and they're actually all from Syria. Yeah. So that was really cool. Oh, so here's the first of the exchange. Oh, here we go. Right? So this is the exchange officer. Yeah. Hello. This is the one, I think it is 3.9 million um, Lebanese towns. And this is the exchange officer. So you ready to go? We Done. did it, yep. Are good? Yeah, we're ready to roll. So we were actually just, it's really interesting. So the official language of Lebanon is Arabic, but you will notice everyone speaks to us in French here. Yes, um, even the street signs are French, Yeah, right? assuming we're European. Yeah, the street signs, the road signs are yeah. in French. Even actually on some of the money. On the money, it's quite, it's, yeah. it's their numbers in French as well. So it's quite interesting. People seem to speak multiple languages. Yep. Um, English does seem to be pretty widely spoken though. This way, guys. This way, guys. There's been sort of no attempt made to fix anything up, eh? I know, there's a massive contrast. So lots of these will have been, I don't know, I guess empty since pre the war, like yeah. since the 1970s, and then some since the final war. Wow, look at that. It looks like there's been absolutely no attempt so uh, from what I've been told guys, see that um, the half circle coming out from the top? Yeah. That was actually a revolving restaurant. So is this the Holiday Inn? This must be this the, is the Holiday, Holiday Inn. Inn. And that's the revolving restaurant up the top. It looks like absolutely so nothing's been done. It was completed in 1974 yep. and then the, the war, war started in 1975. Yep, it went on for 15 years. So nothing's ever happened to it and yeah. it's just still And for a, like for a city that's struggling for space and they haven't even touched it yet. Wow, it's certainly a pretty confronting view of that. The old Holiday Inn Hotel. Still see the revolving restaurant up the top. And nothing's been done. It's still just covered in holes. Look at that. Still fully barricaded off. Wow, look at this, Harry. So cool. The marina. That's pretty fancy. So because the power goes out here, there's no street lights. So it's just back to the old courtesy method. You give way or have a crash. So here we go. Let's get across here. So yeah, between the hours of, we're trying to work it out. Um, during the day sometimes during the day like the power goes on and off sort of randomly throughout the day so as you can see no lights so guys look at this over here all these windows in this building have been blown out from the explosion back in 2019 look at that looks like this this scaffolding up there but it doesn't look like they've no it's amazing, it's um, definitely a city trying to claw its way back, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Trying to make a new name for itself. Yeah. And this is where the gas came out. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, so this is where the main explosion was, like right there. And it obviously just leveled this whole area. So first impressions of Beirut, Harry? 
it's really amazing, but also at the same time, it's quite sad to yep. walk around these broken down buildings. Yeah, it makes you feel very lucky to be in New Zealand, live in New Zealand. Thank yeah. You. But yeah. on the flip, on the better side, we're gonna go get some delicious food. Absolutely, we are. We're gonna show you Beirut. We're gonna show you that it's not a scary place to come. You should come check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Most of our videos turn into food tours, <laughs> and maybe this one will too. Oh yeah. So we're just on our way up towards the main mosque up here, the Ottoman mosque. But this one here, like right above us, we can just hear the call to prayer going off is built on where there was the site of an original mosque but look if you look at the map you can see it's always been look this is the castle ruin in 1840 this is the latin convent that says khan is in like king, king. i suppose yep. so it always the city must have always been quite multicultural well always has been really yeah. multicultural i think probably from its position like geographically yeah So this behind us is actually the old castle of Beirut. What was it called? Chateau. So it's like the castle square. And this oh. map has got a map of the castle from 1841. 1841, guys. Can you oh. imagine what life would have been like in 1841? This area wow. at the foot of the castle's cliff became a market for bulk trading grains, sugar, rice, coffee, and tea. It was known as Souk Malakaban. Wow. wow. Look at that, eh? It's sad. It's so sad to see this, but also very amazing to see how this falls. Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh my god! Look at the size of that praying mantis. Looks like it's one big praying mantis. This place is called Jardin du Pardon, which literally means Garden of Forgiveness. Well, I don't really know what to make of this area. It seems to be all cordoned off. And with guards at abandoned. Yeah, it completely abandoned. And there's guards at every entrance, but they said, yeah, fine, you can walk through. And then look at these ancient, these are Roman and Byzantine, yeah. I think. Um, yeah, look at this. All this history here, like Roman pillars and everything, but he kind of feels like they don't know what to do with it. It's just kind of all cordoned off with guards at every entrance. And we're just learning as we go through here. As we find out more, we'll tell you more. Yeah. 
They're all made of like copper. Yeah, they are. They're all copper. Those big statues are all copper. I like them. I like them a lot. seems gloomy. It's gloomy, it's depressed, there's like all the street art, it's just yeah. empty though, lots of the streets was just us and all and the street art has guard. got a message. All the street art definitely got a message, so um, yeah, I think we started off with such an energy and here we are, but I like this one. We do have hope. So Harry, what do you think, mate? It's a lot to take in, all yeah. the street art. Yeah. It's, it's real sad. It's sad, but also amazing what they do. Some of it's a bit deep, some of it's also creepy. Yeah, like, it is a bit creepy. Do you think we should go get some nice food? Let's yeah, should we food? Yeah. Should we end the day on a bright note and go and get some food? Yeah. 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 Okay, let's go get a nice We've had enough of bullet holes and yeah, there's think, a lot to take in a barbed window. wire. I think this video should be named Creepy Things on the Street of Beirut. Yeah, true. I'd rather name it something nice about the food. Let's go get an ice cream or some nice food, guys. Yeah. yeah. I don't know about you, but that was one heck of a world schooling little lesson for you guys today. I think yeah. we need to go to a cafe a and have a little bit of a debrief. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. need some ice cream to cheer us up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ice cream. This is what we've been looking for. Baba Restaurant. This has been really recommended to us. Yeah. This has been recommended and, to us by just about everybody. Like everyone's recommended it. it seems like the perfect day to go and try it. What do you reckon, Harry? Wow, yeah. look at this. Wow, beautiful. Looks like, oh, so it's like sandwiches, is that it? Right, so these yes. Baba restaurants have been recommended to us. Okay, this is the Is this your favorite? Nice, Baba Shawarma, good. <laughs> look at the size of this. This is the biggest shower Wow. Oh, so we can sit down, sit down that's the biggest rack of meat I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> wow. Okay, look at this. Menu is on. Okay. He's right. What are we going to get, guys? Oh, wow. Okay, this looks absolutely massive. Okay, so it's not just sandwiches that we thought. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, what do you feel like? I feel like a shawarma. I'm really, really thirsty after that massive day. Uh, wow. I like the look oh, of those whoa. big platters. Look at that. Yeah, the platters look really good. Let's get some yeah. traditional food. Whoa, look at it all. Okay, this is totally reminds me of Star Kebab in Bangladesh. Yeah, like their place to be. <laughs> Dhaka, we're thinking of you. Or oh, you can get fatouche. These are, these look amazing. They have juice. What was that thing those guys are eating as we walked past? Okay, we've got to get these. Okay. Can you remember? I can't even remember. We got a fatouche. I really want a fatouche. We got the chickpea and like eggplant dip, I think. Yeah. Hummus? Yeah. Maybe something in yeah. hummus. I'm excited to one try shawarma wrap. One shawarma wrap and one shawarma platter. I'm excited to try the um, hummus and the shawarma. I want to see what the shawarma's like here. Nice. They have lots of shawamas. Oh, look at the size of the rack of meat they've got. Yeah, it's the know. biggest show I've ever seen. Yeah. This is totally like Star Kabbalah. Okay, guys. Pretty confronting world schooling day today. Yeah. For all of us. Yeah. We left our hotel this morning full of life. And like feeling really upbeat. Feeling really everything. upbeat. Got downtown. And then we started feeling like sad for what's happened here. Yes. But they've, they've called back. 
Yeah, I feel like I feel like even though like it's clearly a country that's been in a lot of distress. When did the, the war started in 1975, went for 15 years until 1990, and then of course after that they had that massive financial crisis, crisis. Still ongoing. and then COVID, and, and then the port explosion. It's had so many things. It's had so many things, but I kind of feel like yeah. it's trying to create a new name for itself, so all we can do is wish yeah. them all the best. And it totally makes us really appreciate this area, Hamra, which is the university, so it's like the kind of younger area of town, like commercial. Thank you. Sorry. And this looks amazing. And the food. <laughs> and we the food. We I said we'd end the day, we <laughs> said we'd end the day on a high note. Here and it we is. Are, we're wow. going to end on note, um, we're going to end the day on a real yeah. high note of But well food. done guys, an awesome morning yeah. and a, a lot of learning for all of us. So. Yeah, well done. Yeah. We hope yeah. you all like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next day. And see you on the next day. Thank you.